had Chris Onyango stuck to what he learned in college a little over 10 years ago, he would probably be pursuing a career in the field of information management. But his love for farming is what enchanted him more. A passion he developed in 2004 while on a short stint working as a coordinator for an agricultural farm, encouraging small-scale farmers in Nyanza and Rift Valley regions to cultivate the soybean. After clearing my schooling, I came back home and uh, I was actually moved into farming because I looked at uh, the challenges that come about with the employment. I saw a very big gap that existed there where most farmers actually were producing soy in very small, small pieces of land because they were looking at it like an experimental thing. Today, the 30-year-old man is a soybean farmer at his home in Kamsaki, Migori County, with 15 acres of land under soya. Chris started his soybean farming venture in late 2005 on a quarter-acre piece of land with just 6,000 shillings that was spent on buying 5 kilos of seed. Chris harvests his crop at least twice a year, with his soybean variety taking about three and a half months to mature. In a good season, Chris can reap up to 1,000 kilos of soybean per acre. And so, I accompanied Chris to this facility, where he delivers part of his crop for processing into value-added products, such as soya beverage and soya flour, which can be incorporated into baking and porridge flour. Soybeans can also extract soy milk, as well as protein supplements that can go into human and animal feeds. His main customers are local animal feed manufacturers and food processors, who source soybeans from him under contract. I sell my, my grains in terms of kilos, so sometimes I do... The, the least I've ever sold is uh, 45 shillings, but it goes sometimes to 150, yeah, depending on the international market price. In three months, you're able to, to get close to 500,000. So if you divide that by, 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 by three, you find that you get up 100 and something per month. Now per acre, the highest that I've ever spent, I used to use around 6,000 6, Kenyan shillings. The soya bean has been touted as highly nutritious and medicinal, which is why Chris has opted to take the crop further up the value chain. While the demand for soybeans in Kenya is currently estimated at roughly 70,000 metric tons a year, its production in Kenya remains low at between 2 and 5,000 tons. A problem Chris attributes to the unavailability of certified soybean seed. Our limitations in terms of production is because we are still using the conventional seed that we used to use previously. If you look at uh, uh, countries like Brazil, they have gone into GMO, genetically modified, uh, seeds. The global demand for soybean is still growing, with China's appetite for soybeans now surpassing its own production of the commodity, a trend that provides a great opportunity for smallholder farmers in Kenya to get into the soybean value chain. Denis Otieno, Smart Farm.